Creative Continuity. We bring the convention to you. Creative Continuity Special Edition. I'm here with Dirk Manning, Josh Frost, and Howie mother freaking no. Josh and I started working together on uh, Nightmare World. Mm -hmm. I, I like to joke around. I originally, I, I saw Josh's work on digital webbing and really liked his work. Emailed him, totally ignored me. Whoa. Just, just it ignored you for like a day, and then I emailed you back. Like the silence was deafening. <laughs> it was deaf. Yeah, and I'm like, really? And I, and uh, I, I was heartbroken. It was the worst 24 hours of my life because I'm like, Josh and I, we can have something. Why doesn't he see it? What, what, what's going on? But uh, no, we worked together. Uh, did a one Nightmare World story together. And, Turned into two Nightmare World stories and three, three stories. Uh huh. We did what, like eight or nine total? Yeah, like eight or nine Nightmare World stories together. And then from there, we got together to do our own series, which was uh, ended up becoming Tales of Mystery Volume One. So uh, we did this book together, and uh, yeah. Over the course of seven years or something. It was a while. It was a while. Well, we had life got in the way a little bit, and plus, I mean, we we went from going online. To, uh, publishing it online at Image Comics, Shadowline, then got picked up by Devil's Due for Print. And then in the meantime, uh, I actually did some work with Howie on his amazing comic, Terra Normal. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the plug. We were on a podcast together, <clears throat> and uh, Strange Frequencies, I think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I really liked Terra Normal, and, and he tolerated what I wrote. And it was kind of like, man, listen, you know, if you ever want to, like, you know, pick a guest stint or something, because I'm pretty greedy. I only work, on, I, I, I primarily work on creator own work because I don't like to write stuff then have other people own it and do stuff with it. But I love Terra Normal. It's just a, a, a girl that punches ghosts. And I'm like, it's so much fun. So um, he agreed to let me do a four page sequence in which I totally dismembered his main character. And <laughs> I was fine with it. Yeah, it was fun. So he's doing a story with uh, Seth the Moose from uh, Mr. Re, volume this two. volume two, and they're doing a baby Cthulhu origin story. And uh, yeah. once again, I let him do. I, I had a thing where I was like, this is maybe too crazy. Too but I let him. I just, no, we're going all the yeah. way. I, I took away my comment. Right. He initially said the story, there's an element of the story that was too dark. And then we drew it that way. And he's like, you know, keep it. Because uh, Terra is more of a, it's a fun book, yeah, yeah. and uh, I bring a certain edge to it sometimes. Yeah. I think I think I, I think I like to do that because it's such a fun book to add a little bit of like, Ugh. Yeah. and then like you sold me on softening it up, and they're like, no no no, keep it dark. So the the origin I of Baby Cthulhu. Yeah. I had a bad day, so that that character should have a bad day too. He used to, I mean, his scripts are pretty strict. He had a panel layout. It was one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. This is what I want to see. Here's your camera angle. I prefer detailed, stuff. but whatever. Yeah, your scripts Suffocating. are fairly detailed. But as we worked together <laughs> over the course of 10 years, the chokehold lessened a little <laughs> bit. And, you know, we kind of, he earned my trust. Because in the beginning, he wanted, like, thumbnails. He wanted sketches. Sure. He'd be like, sure. change this head. Let's look this way. He wanted character sketches, all that. Because we had to work together, and, so, you, you know, know, and it was your baby, and I was just kind of babysitting here and there, watching it, you know. But uh, I talked about the right or wrong book about how it got to the point by the time Josh and I worked on several Nightmare World stories together, and then got to Tales of Mystery. Here's how I see it: you do what you want, and like I had like a five-panel page, and he did like eight panels, so that's fine. But then you just have to go back through and restructure the dialogue and stuff like that to flow over eight panels more naturally. So yeah, once we got to know each other, and it's like, man, this guy knows what he's doing, we're good. Because towards the end, I was barely even reading the scripts. I'm like, all right, this is kind of what happens. <laughs> and I was that's like, honest. You know, but, yeah, well, because it was, it was fun to go, here's what needs to, you know, this is just what I need to know visually. This is yeah. whatever. I'm like, okay, this guy's going to punch this guy. This guy's walking in the woods, whatever. Right. right. And then I would just kind of run with it without trying to sit there and analyze, all right. What exactly do I need to do in every single page that he saw? Is this, yeah. I write, when I write scripts, I talk a lot about like what the character is kind of thinking, and like the, more like the, especially when Josh are working together a lot. What's the mood of this? It's like okay, you know, and, and and really allow him then to interpret that and bring that visually to life, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, like I said, I mean, 
It, it explains a lot now that I know you didn't actually read the script. Well, yeah, I, I still I haven't read Mystery, Mystery so I don't... Tales of Mystery Volume 3, Nightmare World 4, Tales of Mystery Volume 4, Right or Wrong 2, Terra Normal 2, I'm story in there, and how he is doing a story in Tales of Mystery Volume 3. I don't know, what can you say about it that's not spoilers? Space? Yeah. Space. Space. The Final Frontier. Arts. Space. Gonna be, uh, there's a lot of space, and there's a lot of space in, in his issue. Yes, there's space, and it's gonna be. I'm gonna take Words. influence from the uh, first Aliens movie, Words. as far as the look and tone. Which would be Alien, not Alien, alien. not Aliens. But that's a pretty good one too. <laughs> Game over, man. Game over, man. That's Game over. Alien, that's an Alien. I know. That's right, what we were right, referencing. Right, right. But that's what I we're getting. You're talking about Alien. I, well, you know, I originally did. But. He's trying to say that he's gonna draw inspiration for his issue from the first. Ailey in. I'm not part of this first one. <laughs> turn your turn your face to the. the, the, the yeah, just turn around, Josh. Yeah, we're yeah, done. Yeah, we're yeah. done with you. Like in Blair Witch. And, you know, look, look at that. Nice plug. Look at this is. That's why. Oh, there's a plug on there. Look at that right there. He actually has it on a train ah. stamp as well. Right here. It's really nice. <laughs> But Josh does full-time tattoo work now. That's fine. Just stay like this. And mine's eye tattoo. In uh, whatever this is, e e e e e e eat mouse. Emmaus. Emmaus. Amadeus in Amadeus, Pennsylvania. So he now works in Amadeus, Pennsylvania. Mine's eye tattoo. It's beautiful. And uh, yeah, but we're gonna bring him back to comics a little bit. We're gonna bring him. We're, we're dragging him. You can't get me out of it completely. No, you're never out. This is the first time we've signed on Mystery. First time we've signed together in five years. Okay. Now you know why it'll probably be another five years. It'll be another five. Yeah. We got a Josh Roth, Howie Mandel, and Merck Danning. Merck Manning. <laughs>